Welcome to our video that contains instructions to starting EasyFix from your click-free device when Windows is not working properly. If your computer will turn on but your Windows won't operate properly, you'll probably see a blue or black screen on your computer. Every computer is different, but if you see a screen something like this, click-free C6 EasyFix can help. The first thing we're going to have to do is to start EasyFix from the click-free not start your computer from its hard drive. So to do so, you're going to attach the click-free C6 to a USB port on your computer. And you're going to press Control-Alt-Delete to start EasyFix from the click-free. Wait a few minutes for your computer to automatically start EasyFix. If successful, you'll see these screens appear in order. First, the loading screen, and secondly, the welcome screen. Once the welcome screen appears in your computer, you can follow the EasyFix prompts to perform whatever EasyFix feature you would like. If EasyFix doesn't automatically start, you're going to need to start EasyFix manually by modifying your computer's boot order. Now that sounds complex, but we'll guide you through the process. Step 1. You're going to need to find your computer's boot order key. Common keys can include F2, F12, or the escape key. Every computer is different due to how they were manufactured. To learn how to find your computer's boot order key, we can help. There are five different ways that you could identify your boot order key. The first is to consult your computer's user manual. Check the index for boot. Second, you can contact the support center of your computer's manufacturer, either by phone or online, and ask how to change your boot order. Third, you can search it on a search engine on the internet, Google, Yahoo, Bing, or any other search engine. We suggest you type in the phrase boot order for your computer maker model. You can visit our clickfree.com website where we've re listed a bunch of keys for many popular models. And finally, you can find the boot order key on your computer's boot screen if you know how to load that function. Once you've got the boot order key, you'll be ready to proceed to step two. Now that you've got your boot order key, you're going to want to restart your computer. Now when your computer restarts, you're going to be looking for a screen to appear with the keyword boot on it. Once again, all computers will have a different screen. Here are some samples. When you see one of these types of screens appear on your computer, you're going to want to push the boot order key and you're going to want to press it repeatedly until your computer catches that button. If you successfully entered the boot order key, you will now see your computer's boot menu. Again, all computers will have a different screen. Here are some samples here. Now you're going to use the arrow key to try to highlight the click-free device. So your computer launches the, from the click-free and, and not from your corrupted hard drive. Different computers will offer different choices. You're looking for click-free, you're looking for a CD DVD, a CD-ROM, a USB HDD, which is hard drive, or a USB CD-ROM. If you can find one of these types of options, click on that option and press enter. Wait a few minutes and your computer should start easy fix from the click-free. If you're successful, you'll see these screens appear in order. First, the loading screen, and second, the welcome screen. And you can now follow the prompts to perform the easy fix features that you'd like. If you still don't see the easy fix screen and you're back to seeing the black or blue screen again, you're going to have to try again. Simply press Control-Alt-Delete to restart your computer. Repeat steps two and three, finding your, entering your boot order key and changing your boot menu until you're successful. It may take a few times as your computer gives you just a few seconds to enter that boot order key before it tries to launch from your corrupted computer hard drive. So be patient and keep trying. Eventually you will be successful and you'll arrive on first our loading screen and then the click free welcome screen and you can follow the easy fix prompts to perform the easy fix features that you're required to do.